Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to another Truth For Today. I'm Pastor Mike, coming to you from the Lighthouse Baptist Church here in Seagrove, and we hope today's devotional thought will find you doing very well. Taking our reading today from the book of Ezekiel, chapter number 16 and verse number 6, and to give you the backstory of the chapter, the Lord had told the prophet Ezekiel that he wanted him to make the children of Israel, or as he said there in verse number two, cause Jerusalem to know her abominations. Jerusalem, speaking of the holy city, they had erred from God. They were walking away from him in disobedience and sin. And so he commissioned Ezekiel to let them know uh, where they had went astray. Now, in that particular dissertation that he gave in verse six is what I'm really interested in for our devotion. He says this, and when I passed by thee, this is what God wanted Ezekiel to tell them. And when I passed by thee and saw thee polluted in thine own blood, I said unto thee, when thou wast in thy blood, live. Yea, I said unto thee, when thou wast in thy blood, live. The Lord there is telling the nation or reminding them that when he found them, they were in dire straits. They were not a mighty nation. They were not a powerful nation. They were not a wealthy nation. Nah, they really were, were basically uh, on the bottom of the barrel, almost ready to die. You could put it in that kind of terminology. So he says, when I found you in that state, he said, I didn't leave you there, but I said to you, live. In other words, God is reminding them of what he did for them when he rescued them. Can I say for you and I, that's exactly in a parallel way what God done for us. He found us dead in trespass and in sin. And then he quickened us, which literally means to be made alive. And that's exactly what God wants for his children. He wants us to live. Same thing he told them in the book, to live. Matter of fact, when Jesus was on the earth, he made this statement. He said, I came that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. For the child of God, God does not want you to live in or wallow in the deadness that he found you in. No, sir, no, ma'am. God wants you to live. How do you live, though? You and I live in our Christian life as we grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. After we get saved, we receive the Holy Ghost. We begin to feast on his word. We begin to walk with him daily through having a, and establishing a prayer life and learning who he is and walking in his ways. And that, my friend, is what it's like to walk in the abundant life that God intended for us to have. So I want to encourage you today, if you're stagnant or dry, maybe, maybe you got saved, but you never really did get discipled well. I want to encourage you to know something that God never intended for your Christian life to be beggarly. Oh, no, friend. He wants your Christian life to thrive. When I talk about thriving, I'm not talking about what the televangelist says or, you know, some of the peace and prosperity guys. I'm talking about thriving spiritually. He wants you to drink from the well of living waters every day of your life and then let those waters flow out of you so that others that need to drink will have a place to do so. Today, my friend, you and I need to follow this same counsel. We need to look and live. We need to let God refresh us, revive us. And can I say this, that that's something that takes place many times in your Christian life. If you're stagnant today, don't think you're the only one in the family of God that goes through that. No, we all go through dry seasons. But here's the key. How he found us is not where he wants us to stay. It's time to get up. It's time to go on and move forward into a prosperous walk and Christian life with the Lord Jesus. Hope today's devotional thought will encourage you to do just that. If you've experienced some dryness in your life, let it rekindle uh, those early days maybe or the time in your life whenever you had that consistent, daily, intimate walk with God. And once again, let him help you live. That's what he wants for you. Hope today's devotional thought will encourage your heart. And, and, and as always, may the Lord richly bless you today is our prayer.